Hiya, kiddos. Thanks for joining Grandpa Ken and his friends. You probably think because I'm wearing my fire hat and Marshall from the Paw Patrol is over here. Yeah, and Barkley, of course, he still has his witch hat on. He likes that. But you might think I'm going to read about the Paw Patrol. Wrong. It's Pete. Yep, it's Pete. He asked me to read another story of his that he really likes. And you'll know why I'm wearing the fire cap, fire hat right away. Because this one is Pete, the firefighter Pete. Pete has a secret. He has been training after school to be a firefighter. Now his whole class is going on a field trip. Oh, I've gone on field trips. I love them. And I've even gone to the firehouse where they're going. Pete climbs onto the bus with his friends. He can't wait to show off his new skills. Uh-huh. Wow. The bus parks next to the bright red firehouse. Wow, Callie says. Look how big it is. Callie's right. The firehouse is huge, very, very big, almost always are. It's so big, it can hold two long fire trucks and all the fighter, fighters' equipment. Can we go inside? Pete's friends shout. Pete's teacher smiles. Of course, she says. That's why we're here. Well, we would certainly think so, huh? Look how huge it is, see? There's the bus, the huge firehouse. Hiya, Pete, a firefighter says when the kids go inside. Hi, kids. Kelly turns to Pete. How does he know your name? She asks. The firefighter points to Pete. Why, Pete's here, one of our top trainees. Come on, Pete, let's show your class what it means to be a firefighter. First of all, you'll need your gear. As Pete puts on his boots and the firefighter tells the kids what each thing is for. Pete's putting on what we call our turnout gear, the firefighter says. The boots keep our feet safe if we step on something sharp. And those pants and the jacket protect us from the heated flames of a fire. And the hat protects our head if anything falls on us. See? Yeah. Pete shows off his full gear. It's so heavy, he can hardly move. So look at him. Oh, Pete, the firefighter. He's got all that gear on. Pete takes off his gear, and he and the firefighter show his class the rest of the station. The firefighter gives each kid a chance to ring the old brass bell outside the firehouse. Ding, 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 ding. Then the kids take turns sliding down the firefighter's pole. Whee! Callie cries as, the, as she glides down. This is fun. The firefighter even lets the kids set in the fire truck. Callie sets in the driver's seat. She presses the horn. Ah! The sound of it is so loud, everyone covers their ears. Then she turns on the sirens and lights. Woo! The lights flash red and yellow. Wow, Pete, Callie says. I can't believe you get to do this all the time. It's awesome. <coughs> See? Look at it. Callie's in the front, yep, she's making all the noise, and she's beeping, rah, 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 yep. Just then, a loud bell rings in the firehouse. It's the fire alarm. There's a fire in town. The firefighters, firefighters scramble into their boots and helmets and say goodbye to the kids. Come on, trainee Pete, they shout. We've got a fire to put out. Well, Pete gets to go with them, kiddos. Pete quickly puts his own gear back on, too. Pete and firefighters hop onto the truck. They turn on the lights and sirens and race out of the firehouse. The fire is all the way on the other side of town. They need to get there fast. Everybody's supposed to get out of the way if they've got a siren on. The fire truck sirens wail as the trucks 
run through town. The other cars hear it coming over and move out of the way. Fire truck goes through a red light and then green lights. And there's just no time to waste. Pete looks out the window. He's been training for weeks for this. It's his first real live fire. He can't wait. Look where he's sitting, kiddos. Right up in the front. That would be cool. Or if he, as he would say, groovy. Finally, the crew reaches the site of the fire. It's an old building. Pete looks up. The flames are huge. He's never felt anything so hot in his life. Pete hops out of the truck. He knows what he has to do. Working with the other firefighters, he hooks up the fire hose to the fire hydrant. Now the firefighters have water to fight the fire. The, the firefighters attach another hose to the fire truck. Pete gives a signal, and the firefighters turn on the water. Whoosh! The water gushes out of the hose. Pete and the other firefighters have to hold the hose tight. With so much water coming out, it's hard to control. Look at how many of them it's taken, huh? Yeah, it comes out, whoosh, whoosh. Makes a funny sound, huh? Whoosh. No, that's what water sounds like coming out of a hose. Slowly, the fire starts to go out. But now, there's smoke everywhere and it's hard to see. Suddenly, Pete hears a shout on the roof. It's Grumpy Toad. He's stuck on the top of the building. Oh, no, 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 no. The firefighters raise a long ladder from the truck and they rest it against the side of the building and begin to climb. Pete and another fighter, firefighter help Grumpy Toad climb down the ladder carefully. Pete brings Grumpy Toad over to a waiting ambulance. It showed up by the firefighters were putting out the fire. The medics are waiting for Grumpy Toad. They check him out to make sure he's okay. And meanwhile, the firefighters put out the last of the fire. Every time they, there's a fire, they normally have a ambulance so that people can be checked out. Kiddos have to be very, very careful around fires. Don't ever play with matches. It's very dangerous. Back at the firehouse, the fighter, firefighters take off their gear. Great job, Pete, they say. You fought your first fire. What do you think? Pete grins. That was far out, he says. When can we do it again? Well, Pete, you really don't want anybody's house on fire. That isn't the idea. But I hear from firefighters, it's very exciting to put a fire out and know that you save somebody. I think it's always really nice. Anytime you're able to do service for others, it makes you feel good right inside here. So kiddos, remember, Pete the Cat learned, it's fun to help others, don't you forget it. This is Grandpa Ken, come on back anytime. I'm here 24-7. See you later, kids.